Howdy everyone. <coughs> I'm the owner of Adelaide Bike Hire. We hire out uh, performance road bikes here in Adelaide, South Australia, which is the home of the Tour Down Under in January. Today's ride is another hill climb and we're going to ride up our old freeway. So um, I'll explain more on the ride, but it's about a 14 kilometre ride and it'll probably go for around about 35, 40 minutes. Um, it's one of the main rides up into the hills and um, for those that are new to the channel I'll get out my trusty map again <clears throat> and just give you a quick overview of the rides we have here in Adelaide so this is the very high-tech map of Adelaide and basically we've got city centre here we have our hills area here we can actually do more hills rides but that's the main hills area and we have our beach area here so if we wanted to go to the beach from the city it's about a 10 kilometer ride and then we've got a straight stretch up to here it's about half hour through to which is North Haven out of harbour and then down to Seacliff and I'll just play with my Garmin because it's telling me to do funny things okay um, um, and then we're very central um, and we've got a 10 kilometre ride to the base of the hills which I'll explain in a bit more detail. We can also go down south which is the McLaren Vale area and the final stage of the Children Under in uh, at Wollonga Hill uh, and we can also um, ride up north as well to the Barossa Valley winery area. We've got the McLaren Vale winery wine area down south as well. In regard to our hills, amazing hills riding so close to the city. We've got multiple rides up into the hills. Mount Lofty, which is here, is our highest point at about 720 metres above sea level. And we've got a ridge line going through here. Multiple ways to get up here. We've got Montacute Road. Um, we've got Norton Summit Road, Green Hill Road. And today we're going to go up this bike track that runs alongside our freeway on our old freeway actually so we're not on the freeway and the best way to get to it at the start if you're in the city is I just ride up Glen Osman Road we've also got Corkscrew Road which is well known in the Tour Down Under as well and we can do bigger rides out past the city but that's just a, a brief overview of riding around in Adelaide fantastic area to ride so much to do and so close so um, I'll just put the map away, put the sunnies on, and we'll go for a ride. Sorry about the traffic noise, so I tried to get a, a bit of distance away from the uh, freeway, but it's, it's a bit hard. Okay, sunglasses are on, maps away. Let's go for a bit of a ride. We just ride on the freeway for about 100 metres, so it's not very long. Here we go. There's an old toll gate in the middle of the um, in the middle of the freeway. You can see that's basically the starting point of the ride. The bike track is on the left-hand side near the toll gate, and we go up there. Okay, here we go. So we 
we're going to be riding to Crafus and it's a point on the bike track that has three bollards across it and it's a well-known point in Adelaide just it's locally known as this bollards so we go from Tollgate to bollards not a bad for a hard climb um, not a consistent climb like Norton Summit we've done before this one's a bit flat then goes up, bit flat, goes up so you work a little bit and then have a rest work a little bit and have a rest once we um, get a K or so up here we transition to the old freeway we move away from the traffic This freeway here takes you through to uh, Melbourne, actually. the first sort of minor steeper section tapers off just around the corner and when I say steep it's probably only eight or nine percent so it doesn't go for long so it's not too bad climbing, bit of flat, bit of climbing
traffic noise at the moment. We've got a public holiday on at the moment, celebrating Queen's birthday. So a lot of people sort of out and about. But in about probably a kilometre, we duck off and we go onto our old freeway and it's nice and quiet. Talk a bit more when we get on our old freeway. This is going to be another little steeper section. Again, not too steep. And it, it's a flat section afterwards, so all good. We're about to head to our old freeway. This place here in Strava land is called Kennels. Because it used to be dog kennels, but they just sold it. But um, it's another well-known point. We duck under the new freeway and get onto our old freeway. It'll be a lot quieter.
nice winter's day today. Beautiful day for cycling. Not a spot. I was going to say not a cloud in the sky, it's just a faint cloud. A bit cool for Adelaide, but all good. We got maximum today in the winters in Adelaide City. It's going to be about 14 degrees Celsius. Up in the hills will be a bit cooler. In summer, which is our January sort of period, we sort of get up into the 30s and 40 degrees Celsius. So, nice and warm. Easy to do early rides those days. So you can get up to Mount Lofty this way as well. Uh, once you get through the bollards, you continue on for about 500 metres and there'll be a blue sign on a pole that will talk about a bike track and it takes you down to a big roundabout at Crafers. And then you turn left at that roundabout and just ride all the way up to Mount Lofty. A lot of cyclists out today with the public holiday, the Queen's birthday. And this beautiful sunny winter's day. Like I said, it's only the base of the climb is probably less than 10 kilometers from city centre. So so lucky here in Adelaide, so close to everything. Had a family ring me today and our bikes for the tour down under. Six months away. So, uh, getting in early, everybody's pumped. So this is our old freeway. They built a, a newer, straighter one because this had too many bends in it. So, there's a corner here just got around this uh, devil's elbow they call it and a lot of trucks so we had some problems there the new freeways that's straight that we have some issues where the truck drivers aren't braking enough and they can't brake at the end sometimes so fix one problem create another one unfortunately this is just a beautiful ride Once we get to Crafers, I'll turn the camera off, but I'm going to ride on and have some lunch at a bakery up in the hills in a little country town called Uradler, and then I'll uh, head home after that. But if you're ever up in the hills and want a place to have a bite to eat, grab a cup of coffee or whatever, um, Uradler's the place to go. Bakery's not right next to the pub. 
could probably bruise their own beer. There's a couple of other places to eat up there in Eurala. Lost in the forest, that's what I have in pizzas. I believe there's another little cafe next to a bike shop. So, yeah, just a good country place to stop off at, which is on Greenhill Road. Area known as koalas. This is often koalas up in the trees. I find it hard to see them when you're riding, but they're there. coming up to an area for the mountain bikers but either on the hill mountain bike park we just uh, turn this corner drop down a bit and then we do a bit of a climb around a sharp switchback and uh red eagles i go up there a bit and ride and there's other mountain bike areas in the hills fox creek near Cully creek And they're also looking to join some dirt trails up and try to get a, a multi-day bike ride from Harndorf through to Barossa Valley, which would be fantastic for people that like their trekking and want a multi-day hills ride. down a little bit and then we do a bit of a painful climb actually just a short one and then it tapers off again so So this uh, left hand bend coming up is near the mountain bike park on the right hand side. You get on the hill mountain bike park. Um, the left hand bend, a bit of a pinchy sort of climb. But look, it only goes for 50 metres or something, so nothing too hard. Get your heart pumping though.
averaging about eight percent now, gradient. Goes a little bit higher. Where this joining the path is starts getting up a bit. Here we go. Nothing too bad, that's it really. Went up to 11%, it's so nothing too crazy. And the mountain bike park was on our right hand side, so this car's got a mountain bike on the on the roof. He's gonna be ducking in there. TV towers on the ridge line of the hills. They're pretty close to Mount Lofty. So when you're staying in a city and you look up the hills and you see the three TV towers, that's where you're riding to. A bit further to the left of them is a, a lookout tower and a lighthouse. That's Mount Lofty Summit. might see it as I ride up there. So about two thirds the way Bollards. Sitting on about 6% gradient at the moment. Rises slightly here for 100 metres. So I've just up the crest here. There's those TV towers I'm talking about. Fadden's off of me here, so i give it a rest. Yeah, so if you haven't been to Adelaide for cycling, you've got to come one day. Come for the tour down under in January. You will absolutely love it. Pro teams riding everywhere, waving, having a chat, ride to every stage from the city. Go past the cafes and see the teams there. It's just a great experience. But that's only one week. 
so it's great riding all year round here. So um, great place to come. Airport's only five k, five kilometres, I should say, from the city. So everything's easy to get to. to come up to our final sort of phase of climbing to Pollards. Still made up of a couple of steps I should say. Like the final main stage of climbing. So it's not too bad overall. So it gets a little bit steeper around here. Average is where the signs start here. And then as it veers left, it gets steeper. But again, nothing too crazy and nothing for too long. So it's only probably one or two hundred metres. And then it'll drop off again. So yeah, not too bad. to get up to 7% Little steeper section here or 10 percent and then it tapers off again Just starting to taper off now.
small gradient now, have a bit of a rest. For the last two little climbs. So, the light's just around the corner. Now we actually move off the old freeway. And it's just a dedicated bike path now. For the last section up to the Bollard to Crocus. Flattens up up here, final 15 metre climb and then you're at the bollards. Like I said, if you wanted to continue on to Mount Lofty, which most people do, ride another few hundred metres on, you'll see a, a blue sign on a pole on the right hand side of the road. And that highlights a little bike path it takes you through to the large roundabout at Crafers and you turn left of there and just continue on to Mount Lofty. Don't know if you just heard the kookaburra laughing just then. There's a few up here. So this is the last little 20 meter climb and then we have the bollards which you can just see now Hope you enjoyed it. Um, for those of the, you that are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe to our Adelaide Bike Hire YouTube channel and uh, see you next time. Thank you. Bye.